Thank you. It is day two of the NATO summit. We've been telling you about the impending traffic troubles for weeks and we are here. The NATO summit has made commuting through the district pretty difficult. Yeah, and today the Mount Vernon Square area is definitely seeing some major delays. Our Matt Gregory joins us live near the convention center this afternoon. And Matt, uh, we know that security is tight in that area. So uh, what's happening behind you, if anything? Lorenzo, near is such a generous term that you gave me right there. I mean, look, the convention center is still a block over that way. That's the Marriott right here that's at the convention center. And as you can see, there's a security detail thing right here that is where people are coming through. But I want to show you how this is disrupting downtown as I pass through this LMTV. That's the, the technical term for this National Guard vehicle. Take a look. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six lanes trying to get down to two lanes here at the corner of Massachusetts and 11th. If you want to get out of the city, you got to go that way. As you can see, driving is a major issue today in downtown. So we want to show you what we saw when we came down earlier because driving, forget about it. This is something you don't want to have to do. Every street has DPW trucks or National Guard armored vehicles. It's a t airtight security area. Now we tried to walk to a business on the other side and you can see the eight foot fencing that surrounds the convention center. Now, even if you can walk along the street, because look at how like just congested this area is. Even if you can look up, walk along the street, eventually you'll hit another fence and another security point, and it makes walking in the area difficult. It's not impossible like driving because you can't drive down most of these streets, but it does make it difficult. So imagine what it's like if you're a business like Pearl's Bagels. You're directly across the street from the convention center, which every other day of the week, every other month of the year is a great spot to be. But to get to you today, there's all sorts of security barriers, and their manager tells me, today, guys, this is a bad one. Um, uh, horrible, uh, I mean, or, um, it's as bad as I thought it would be. A good day for us is going to be, um, somewhere around 500 customers and about $10,000 in sales. Um, today we're sitting at 142 customers and probably right around that, like, $2,500, $2,800 in sales. So, um, so guys. This is very interesting, and I want you guys to hang with me for a minute because we're about to have another motorcade go by, and this one seems to have a so, uh, Secret Service detail as well as MPD. So as you're seeing, oh, U.S. Park Police going by as well. We're right here as I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. It's clearly uh, some sort of dignitary's motorcade as they're starting to leave the area now, but this is what you're dealing with, right? Like, you already have streets blocked off, and now this is a rolling stop as we have a motorcade coming out, leaving the convention center right now. I, I don't believe it's the president's motorcade because these are all sort of rental vehicles and diplomat cars coming out. But you can see as the dignitaries leave, as they get out in their vans, there's an area of the street that's blocked off. That's what we're looking at in terms of uh, downtown. Right now, motorcades going through cutting down more. It's rush hour, six lanes down to two. That's how disruptive it is down here. But for now, outside of the convention center, or at least near it, I'm Matt Gregory, back to you. Yeah, you bring up a good point here, Matt. That's why we've been telling everybody to stay away from downtown DC because yeah, that area around the convention center is closed off, but, but once these motorcades are on the move, you're shutting down other streets downtown as well. Matt, thank you.